brought me here. Because I wanted you to see your future firsthand should you refuse to follow my instructions. Heed me, this is what your life will be if you do not agree to be married. I believe you have mistaken me for one of your soft-handed daughters, ma'am. Or perhaps you already forget. I was raised in the country. I'm not afraid of hard work. Furthermore, it is terribly presumptuous to think that bringing me to a neighbourhood full of good, hard-working people who happen to be less fortunate than yourself would ever sway me to change my mind. Look at the children. Go and look. What, my dear, might you have to say about them? I believe it is you who should heed me. I will not stand silently by while she cut a sham with this miserable prospect you have cooked up in your head. I have a man who loves me. Oh, is that so? Where is he then? Why is he not here attending to you? Because he is fighting in Spain for king and country. Is he aware of your condition? He is. I have written to him. Beautiful love and letters. And has he we... written back to you ever since informing him of your condition? Sweet child, many men make declarations of love when they want to make love. But rare is the man whose love remains true when the consequences of love making are brought to his attention. Pray tell, whatever would you know about love, Lady Featherington? Is it your cold marriage? Because if you were in love, your husband certainly wouldn't look at you the way he does, would he? If you were in love, your husband certainly wouldn't look at me the way he does, would he? George and I have only known each other a short time, but the two of us have shared more love than you or that lecherous cur of yours ever have, or ever will. I assure you,